Hello, warm greetings. My name is Mariusz Pilipczuk, and I am a product engineer at VTS. In today's video tutorial, I will tell you about the Volcano EC controller, which is designed for all Volcano heaters with electrically commutated EC motors. The Volcano EC controller is made from the highest quality materials. Its casing is made of ABS plastic. The Volcano EC membrane keypad is equipped with six buttons plus and minus to change the set temperature. The fan symbol allows you to determine the rotational speed of the fan. The P button is used to select the operating mode. The M button allows you to choose between the heating mode or the cooling mode. Use the on-off button to turn the controller on and off. Briefly pressing the on button turns on the controller. The Volcano EC controller enables us to use the automatic mode and also the three-stage speed control. With the fan button, you can choose the first, second or third gear and also the automatic mode. In the automatic mode, the controller automatically selects the fan speed depending on the difference between the set temperature and the room temperature. The icon in the upper right corner of the display indicates the current operating mode of the fan, whether it is in automatic mode or first, second or third gear. The Volcano EC controller also allows us to read the actual temperature of the room. Use the plus and minus buttons to change the set temperature. The plus button increases the temperature by 0.5 degrees. The minus button decreases every 0.5 degrees. Let's now go to the programming options of the controller itself. If we would like to program heating periods, we need to press and hold the P button. We enter the programming mode. We have two heating periods available to us, the first five days of the week, and with the plus and minus, we can set the desired temperature in increments of 15 minutes. Pressing the P button allows us to set the end time of the first heating period. It also allows us to move to the next time period. Set the beginning and end times of each heating period. Press the P button again to go to the second heating period. The heaters will switch on at 14.30, 2.30 p.m. and switch off at 18.00, 6 p.m. By pressing the P button, we can move to two heating periods that we can set for Saturday, and we can do the same to set the timings for Sunday. We quit the heating period programming mode by pressing P, and we go to the main screen. The P button also allows us to change from the continuous to the programmed mode. To set it, go to the clock icon. On the right-hand side of the controller, there will be the icon with a person in a house. With the M button, the Volcano EC controller gives us the possibility of changing between the heating mode and the cooling mode. In the heating mode, the volcano will switch on when the room temperature falls below the set temperature. The cooling mode requires us to work with the VRD destratifiers. When the temperature rises above the desired set temperature, the destratifiers will push the hot air down from the upper part of the room to the lower part. The Volcano EC controller meets the highest quality and functional standards. In addition to the previously mentioned functions, the controller has the ability to connect external temperature NTC sensors and also allows us to connect with the BMS system using the Modbus protocol. But most importantly, with one controller, we can connect up to eight EC Volcano devices.